don't know about you, but I always felt the suitcases and fallout sucked ass. But finally, someone's done something about it. I know, it's a small nuance, something that most people probably didn't pay attention to, but for someone like me, who has nothing better to do but analyze every nook and cranny of the game and then scream about Pete Hines and Todd Howard, this is a godsend. Suitcase Texture Replacer by W. Scottling and Opus Games. This is the first step in a mod that the mod authors are making that will eventually replace the vanilla suitcases because it just bothered the mod author that every suitcase in Fallout World looked exactly the same, other suitcases in the Fallout World. Right now, this is simply replaces the suitcase with one of 23 textures. So yeah, they'll all still look exactly the same, ironic, the mod author knows. So far, this is the first step in the development piece that the mod authors are working on. Hopefully, this will lead to something whereas to there could be more variety in the Fallout world with the suitcases. There are 23 to choose from currently. Let's hope one day they can make it so that they're sprawled out and it's randomized. That would be sick as hell. But for the time being, you'll have to pick which one you like the most. And frankly, that's not too bad. I mean, it's better than the vanilla textures, I'll tell you that right now. So far, I'm only showing you four just to give you a gist of things. That way you know what to expect, what you could get into, and if this is quite possibly for you. Now, if you're not into suitcases at all, which I can perfectly understand, and you don't give a rat's ass passing one in the middle of a subway, then you wouldn't be bothered with this mod. But if you're someone like me that felt that the suitcases needed a bit more sprucing up or a bit more life or individuality, this could be the mod for you. Yes, I know, they will all still look the same for the time being, but hopefully in the future, there will be randomization. Less Shitty Industrial Wall Lights by Ablaze666 The vanilla textures for industrial wall lights annoyed the mod author beyond belief, especially in the early days when we didn't have mods for settlements, buildings, and lights, and so on. His thought was, I'll wait a while, and if no one else makes a mod for this, I'll do it myself. He didn't find any replacer elsewhere, yet so the mod author decided to create his own. Because he has no talent at all with these textures, aren't better nor immersive. They're less shitty than the vanilla ones. The monitor thinks he nails that, so don't expect much. He took the textures from the HD DLC and scaled it to 4K, replaced the glass, and pasted two layers of rust over the metal parts. That's all. The monitors included textures for clean and dirty scratched and one for coagulated glass. Available resolutions 1K, 2K, and 4K variants. And the mod author has summed it up perfectly. This is a less shitty version than the vanilla texture. And in that he has succeeded. Because frankly, the vanilla textures were pretty ass. At least with this, it's got a clean look. It has a flavor to it, it has a life. There's some sort of ambiance. There's some, there's more work put into it. Let's put it that way. The mod author who had no experience put in as much as he thought he could and it still came out better than what Bethesda did and this is a professional company. That should scare you on a couple levels. If you were looking for less shitty industrial wall lights, which we all are, I recommend this. In fact, download it now because what little is here that the mod author has omitted to is still light years beyond what you get from Bethesda's vanilla textures. Retextured Wall Terminal by Ben Effla. The mod author says, hi, my name is Ben. The mod author is colorblind. He loves Bethesda games. He loves that not only do they make awesome games, but also allow us, the community, to come together with modding alike. The mod author would like to give a huge thanks to the Nexus for creating a platform for everyone to have fun and share projects. And an even bigger thank you to everyone that downloads and enjoys his mods. He knows you read it all the time, and by now text on a screen doesn't really convey thanks in the way it's intended. But really, the mod author says thank you. Oh, he even has his own Discord server if you're interested. On top of that, he has a multitude of other mods that you might want to check out. From Chems to Chems 2 and even First Aid Kits. Just by the sheer fact of knowing that the mod author is colorblind and he's able to enjoy modding is quite impressive. I mean, shit, if I stare at the sun too long, my vision's all screwed up and I can barely piss straight. Now, that's probably more information than you needed. But back to the mod. 
I think that this is a wonderful rendition, a great and creative retexture. The simple fact that he even went to the trouble of adding, you know, those, you know, when you buy a laptop or a computer way back in the day before we learned how to build our own computers. But you know how laptops have those little stickers with the serial number for your copy of whatever Windows and the model number of your computer and don't scratch this off and blah, blah, blah. The fact that he added that I think is a nice nuance and it adds to the authenticity of the mod. It makes it feel more realistic. It's far more immersive than just the vanilla design. On top of that, if you notice in dark rooms, some of the keys on the keyboard light up and glow in the dark, which I think is another great touch. It would make perfect sense considering we have LED keyboards now, why the hell not in Fallout? I mean, it seems like a no brainer. And I know some people will say, hey, Gundam, it's not lore friendly. It's like a 1940s futuristic, you know, thank the Jetsons. Truth be told, I have to say that this is a great mod that I will continue to use. And I would suggest it to anyone who's sick of the vanilla terminal. This gives it a bit more life, a hell of a lot more detail, and a tad bit more authenticity, in my personal opinion. Adobe House Kit by Tukey Jones. Talk about a great name. This is a collection of stucco wall and floor pieces to help you create Adobe or Southwestern style housing for your settlements. It's based on vanilla warehouse pieces, so it will snap to the same places as those. You can find the parts in the vanilla warehouse section of your workshop menu. The original stucco textures were seamless pixel high resolution seamless textures. Uh, the mod author cannot take credit for the creation of the texture, he just altered it for use with this mod. Also remember to check out his other mods on his page, and he hopes you like them. Cheers. I have to say it's a pretty sweet mod. Is it lore friendly? No, not in the least bit. But it is something different, and honestly, it, the workshop can get pretty drab as far as creating player homes. So, every new mod that comes out with an ability to change things is a welcome addition to the game I personally feel. I will say the only gripes I have with this is they don't have their own little space inside of the uh, workshop menu. So you have to sift through the normal warehouse vanilla stuff to get to the pieces you want. Other than that, I really have no major bones or gripes. Also, it would probably help to know what these houses look like. So keep a picture up for reference as I did not in my first attempts at making my stucco home were quite pathetic actually which I thought was fairly funny. I should have probably kept that to show people, but it was just so, oh man. And then I go on his page to look at his stuff and I'm like, my house doesn't look like this. What am I doing wrong? But if you want that Southwestern style, this is definitely for you. Or if you're just sick of the vanilla house choices, this can shake things up. And that will have to do it for me. Can't expect you to give more of a fuck than me. Rate, comment, subscribe if you so choose. If not, don't bother, who cares? If you do, remember, I have Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, uh, Instagram, the whole nine yards. I even have t-shirts now. My uh, designer uh, made a couple little things on Teespring and this other site, the name I can't remember, so. And uh, adios, bichachos.